In this video, we're going to be talking through all of the various resource fields that exist on every page in your ModX website. We'll also then be looking at some top-level SEO functions, including 301 redirects, freezing a page's URL, and setting a page as being indexable by Google. We'll also then look at unpublishing and hiding resources from the tree. This section at the top, which I'm hiding and expanding now, is the same on every page on your ModX website. We have an internal page title, an SEO meta title, SEO meta description, and meta keywords. We also then have this little preview at the bottom, which shows how this page will look in SERPs, search engine ranking positions. You'll see at the moment that the internal page title is being used as this page's title. If the meta title is empty, it will inherit this by default. However, we would encourage you to put something that's more meaningful to the user in this meta title box. Putting something in this meta title field will overwrite the internal page title. However, it will still use this internal page title when referencing this page on your website. Another field of value is this SEO meta description. Typing in something here will update the meta description. To the right hand side of each field you'll see that there's a character limit set. We'd highly encourage you to use as many of these as you can. Let's now save this page and have a look at what the internal page title and internal menu title mean. On this test page you can see that we've got a very very simple explanation linking to the home page. If we update this title in here and save the page and now reload, you'll see that this updates. Now this may be fine for some instances, but there may be times where you want the page title that's shown on the page to be here, but the menu title to be something different. This is where the internal menu title comes into play. Setting something in the internal menu title will ensure that this text is only used when referencing this page from menus. This allows you to have complete control about not only how this page is referenced internally, but how it appears in a menu, and how it also appears in search engine results. Duplicating pages is a really, really quick way to be able to take a page which is as close to what you're trying to make and copy it instantly. Right click on any page and select duplicate to copy it and enter in a new page title. This page will then appear in the left hand side ready for you to edit. What we'll also see is that now this appears in the menu. Here you'll see that we have two options, hide from menu and published. If we tick this hide from menu against this test page, this now will no longer appear in the menu. This is really handy when you want to have pages which don't exist in the site menu tree for example, landing pages or thank you pages. You'll see that we also have an option called published. If you untick the publish, it will not only not show in menus, but it'll also not be visible to anybody other than administrators on the website. This is really handy if you've got a page and you've made a start on the content, but it's not finished yet. This publish state is referenced in the menu tree as an italic text. If something is semi-opaque, such as what I've just updated this to now, this indicates that it's actually hidden from menus. If it is opaque and non-italic, this means that it is published, but hidden from menu. SEO functions. On every single page, you'll have an SEO tab. Underneath here, there are four key areas. The first is findability. This is where you say whether you want this page to be indexed by Google or not. Normally, every single page on your website should be indexed. However, there may be pages that you don't wish Google to be able to crawl. To tell Google that you do not wish this to be indexed, simply change this to no, no index on every single one of these. 
This will ensure that if Google does ever crawl this, that it will not include it in its search results. This is very important for pages such as thank yous off the back of somebody completing a form, or for gated content that you don't wish anybody to have access to unless they've got a specific link. Google Sitemap. Every single website has a sitemap allocated to it by default. This is how Google is aware of the pages that exist on your website. Toggling this to yes or no will tell it to be included in that sitemap or not. If you don't wish this page to be included in the sitemap, chances are that you don't want it to be indexed either. So ensure that this is simply set to no. You also have options to be able to select the priority of updates for this page. Don't go and set all of these to be high and update frequency of always or hourly because if Google crawls these pages and it doesn't see them updating in those frequencies, that will not stand in your favor. We'd recommend simply setting these to normal and just leaving the update frequency. 301 redirects. 301 redirects allow you to specify old URLs that should be taken to this page. This is very handy if you've got an old website with an old or out of date structure or pages on your site which you no longer need and have unpublished or deleted them. To set a 301 redirect, simply visit the new page or the page that you wish for the old URL to forward to and click create a 301 redirect. Inside here, type in what the old URL is. Here I've made a URL which is called this is a test redirect. Simply click save and then save again in the top right. And now when typing this in, it will forward it to our test page. This has in the background resolved the old URL and correctly forwarded it through a 301 redirect to the new page. This ensures that if Google visits your old page, it will know that that traffic has been redirected through to the new page. Freeze URLs. Freeze URLs allow us to set any link that we wish for this page. At the moment, you can see that we have this page sitting at my test page. We can change this by simply changing the SEO page URL here. But let's say, for example, that this sits inside of a folder. Let's go ahead and just simply make a new page. And let's move it inside this test page. Let's now have a look at what URL this makes. Here you can see that this has a URL of tester. However, it exists inside my test page. If we view this URL, you'll see that it has the URL from the parent and then the child. Let's go ahead and set a specific URL. If we click SEO, freeze URL, and then tick set a freeze URL, you'll see by default that it's actually put in place the current URL. Let's say that we want this to simply be tester. If we click save, okay. and then view, you'll see that this page now exists on tester, even though it is inside of this page. This freeze URL, we can set whatever we want it to be. This is extremely handy if you have specific pages that are buried in your menu structure that you want to have at a specific URL. Very handy for landing pages or organizing of content. Deleting resources. To delete a resource, you can either come under settings and click deleted, or you can right click from anywhere and click delete. A deleted resource has a red line through it. This hasn't permanently deleted it yet. However, it will not appear in menus and it will not appear in any search engine results. If you click the trash icon, 
a page will load telling you which pages are available to be fully deleted. You have the option here to be able to restore or permanently delete. You can do this by simply clicking the purge all button or right clicking and clicking purge resource. Once you've clicked purge resource, you cannot go back. This page has now been permanently deleted.